この戦いはエレンたちに大きな驚きをもたらすこととなる。Is she alive though? Come to think of it, in my continued theory that hair color is super important, Hanji looks a lot like Ymir, doesn't she? Who else? Reiner's blonde. Sasha. Sasha? I mean, everybody has <laughs> brown hair or blonde hair. Are they all just titans? Except for Connie, whose gray haired butt comes from a blonde haired mother, and John John, also with gray hair. You need to know Alright, good. Good, she's alive. <laughs> For now. <laughs> but she'll be in a coma for a couple seasons, so we can't get answers. <laughs> what was the significance of that? Wait, what? Sometimes they focus in on these little things, and I'm so paranoid, I'm always like, what am I missing? This <laughs> I don't know what the truth is, but I can think of another alternative, which is that there's a battle going on still, and you have to be careful with your identity, not because of the threat of normal people, but because of the other struggle, whatever struggle that is. I mean, just look at what happened when Eren got exposed as a titan, right? That seems to have led Annie to him. <laughs> Hanji's just taking this all in, but I feel like this is getting easier and easier to believe, this kind of thing. Yeah. And Hanji's gonna be curious what she knows. Right, right. The secret to Hanji's heart is information. <laughs> Understatement of the season. <laughs> Family descended from gods. <laughs> What do you know, Hanji? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> There's no hole, though. And we got a new human titan. So what do you do? He's just lucky to have an arm left. He's had a lot of close calls. He's a survivor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the guy's, in the Titan's hand. Yeah. That totally fooled me. It was a major fake out. <laughs> and that was Annie. It's funny he ended that speech with that because as he was saying that, I was wondering, like, why does that for some reason feel endearing or sweet? Maybe it's just because I already like him. You know, that's how it works if you like someone. You just start seeing them through that lens. Similarly, if you dislike someone, you also start to see a lot of their behaviors in a more negative light. But I just like Reiner. That moment didn't feel like complaining, right? It just felt like him processing and accepting, which is why I felt so great that he ended that with, well, I guess I just gotta, you know, do what I gotta do. <laughs> because yeah, look what they just went through. That was horrific. He got his arm bit by a titan. He nearly jumped out the window. They were all near death. He watched Ymir nearly die. He just seems really mature. Yeah, she's lucky to be alive. Yeah, we're all titans on the inside, I guess. That's very generous. Some good leadership right there. Hey, my boy. Hannes. About that. Armin's usually the first one to figure it out. <laughs> what do you even do now? It just changes so much because the whole point was driving the titans out of the outer area, right? But now who even knows if that will be effective? I mean, who knows anything? <laughs> they could be anywhere. It could be anybody. It could happen anytime, apparently. The monkey titan could just hop over the wall. The only thing left that I can think of that might have a huge impact is getting to the basement. That's been a long time thing, building. <laughs> Nice to see you, Hans. That's a relationship that's fallen by the wayside that I would kind of like to return to. I remember in the beginning of season one, Hans was shaping up to be sort of a father figure for the kids, but they barely see each other. That tiny interaction made me somewhat nostalgic. 
The wall is just fine. It's everything else that's messed up. Huh? What? <laughs> Repeat that? I don't understand what you just said. Repeat that? What? Repeat that? 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 Repeat but now there's no need if Aaron goes with them. Is every character just a titan? Just everyone? I feel kind of betrayed. But Reiner is such a gentle soul. <laughs> is that why Ymir attacked them? Are they on opposite sides? One of the first thoughts I had when he said that was that that in some way means he was responsible for the death of Aaron's mom. And that's not going to go over well when he makes that connection. This is crazy. Not, not really. You need to explain more first. Oh good. Information about lifts. That's what I wanted right now. Do you guys have a basement too? Aaron is unusually calm about this. Aaron speaking for the viewer. Every episode it's just something else to add to it. Oh, here we go. The obligatory flashback. Are they on the same side as Annie? Same objectives? Yeah, there was a lot of misinformation that time. Right, that was a major clue. Does that mean that whole thing was... Fake? Is that how Reiner survived? They just showed that flashback again. Something weird happened there. So I can only see a couple options. One is that they had a change of heart. Two is that this is wrong and they actually weren't working with Annie. And three is that it was staged for some reason. But Krista also showed up there, right? That might be a coincidence. <laughs> Once again, Armin figured out before everyone else. Annie and Reiner had a little something, didn't they? There was that one scene, wasn't there? The enemy comes in many forms. Artillery's not always gonna be the answer. Soldiers, the ones worth their salt anyway, are ready for anything. Don't believe me? Look. Yeah, what about it? Maybe somebody I'll give her a talking to. Give her a little hard knocks lesson in preparedness. Okay, so I just went back and watched that scene, and it feels a lot different now. It does actually seem like Reiner is familiar with Annie, and that he's trying to antagonize her in a way. And he talks about reminding her of why she signed up, which has an extra meaning now, because obviously they had a whole other agenda. My guess now, based on that scene, is that they were at one time allies, but then had a falling out. Because it did seem like they were actually fighting on the field with Armin. There are a bunch of little previews in that scene, like her saying that her father taught her how to fight, and her expressing her cynicism about society and those in power, and what seems like a warning to Aaron about, you know, continuing his training and enlisting in the Survey Corps. She had a lot on her mind, and she probably didn't want to get attached. I appreciate that he has faith in Reiner like this. Yeah, that did seem legit. Oh no, is that him? Did Reiner actually pass messages to Annie there? So that was staged. He wrote a message. Damn. That makes that fake out a lot better. I suddenly appreciate that a whole lot more because it seemed a little bit far-fetched at the time. But that's because it was far-fetched. It was fake. Do they even know about Annie? Because this whole thing kicked off while they were in confinement during the battle with Annie, and then they left. But for me, even though this is a huge shock, it doesn't really change all that much about my feelings about Reiner, just because I've been convinced for a while, starting with Annie, that they may actually have really good reasons for it. And it's even easier for me to believe that's the case with Reiner, just from my feelings about him and what we've seen. And the fact that we just saw him try to be reasonable with Eren, so he's not just an evil rampaging monster. 
obviously. There's something really important going on, and I trust that somebody like Reiner, and also Bertholdt, would not be doing this mercilessly or heartlessly. In fact, this development makes me even more convinced that this crew, at least the way they're thinking about things now, is on the wrong side in some way. Apparently, there's something bigger at stake than humanity itself, and I can think of a couple wild theories for that. One goes back to my loop idea, right, that there's some kind of cycle, and so one iteration of humanity might not matter in that case. Another theory is that there's something godlike or creator-like that takes precedence over humanity. But yeah, although it feels counterintuitive, there's something else at stake for certain people who are in the know. I understand some things. You're in shock. He did say it kind of flippantly. Well, I'm glad you were honest. At least someone is around here. We need more Reiners in this world, where they're just forthcoming with their thoughts and information. I'm ready to make Reiner my new favorite character, just on the basis of him telling us stuff. So they're all kind of prepared. This is all sort of a fake out, them acting casual. Oof. He's the warrior. Look, let's talk this out. I'm sure we could have some understanding. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Settle what, though? No, this is a mistake. Just take, take, everyone, just, everyone stop. <laughs> everyone take a minute. Take a breath. This is Reiner and Berthold. Come on. They're, they're good people. All he said was that he was ready to face the consequences of his actions as a warrior. Does that necessarily mean he was about to transform and attack Eren? Possibly, probably, but not guaranteed. It's Reiner, right? <laughs> it's Reiner and Berthold. Let's not forget the Connie shoulder pat. He may have faked the near-death experience with Annie. He may have faked hating the Titans. He may have faked everything. He did not fake that shoulder pat. He meant that. I felt that in my bones. But Mikasa, being so trigger happy, just forced the issue, I guess. I'll be so upset if one of them dies from Mikasa. Well, the good news is, it doesn't matter if they destroy the wall. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, who cares? He won't hurt him. He looks awesome. All right, can't help but notice he has gray hair. So why all the why all the abuse when I thought that the female titan was Mikasa? And I got all these comments like Mikasa doesn't have blonde hair, Alex. Well, Reiner doesn't have gray hair. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting defensive. <laughs> Let it go already. It was season one. This is wind bending all over again. Is it me or did he get a lot bigger? Did they just take Koma Ymir? Just let it happen. Let it happen. They're, we got to figure stuff out. No, but it wasn't- it wasn't fake, though. Some of it was real. No! No, no, no. I'm sticking to it. I know they want me to feel betrayed. I know they want me to feel like Reiner and Berthold did me dirty. But the joke's on them. Because they did too good a job of making me care about them. So people have asked me, if I was in this world, what military branch would I join? And my answer is always something like, I would try to find a way to do good that doesn't force me to join the military. I know what that thing is now. I would be a negotiator, because what these people need is dialogue. I get that there's a lot at stake. I mean, literally, humanity is at stake. I understand that. And I don't know the full story, but I feel like so much damage has been done by miscommunication or a lack of communication. I'm confident that by the end of the show, Reiner is undoubtedly going to be a good guy. If he is actually a villain, I'm going to be so shocked and horrified that he was actually actually able to pull off these gestures so convincingly, such as the Connie shoulder pat. A lot of their dialogue had secondary meanings or a deeper intent inside of it, but that doesn't mean it was fake. It doesn't mean they didn't care for Eren. It doesn't mean they didn't care for their comrades. They're complicated human beings. But anyway, really nice twist. Definitely caught me off guard. And it was kind of perfectly timed because I was just starting to develop deeper feelings for Reiner. As usual though, there are lots of questions like why were they trying to destroy humanity and what made them change their mind? Like what about Eren going with them makes that not necessary? Maybe there's some danger from humanity that Eren can prevent. Overall, I'm happy with the way the episode ended. Firstly, because I'm glad that no cadet has died. But secondly, I've been wanting Eren to just go with the human titan since Annie. Like, I wanted Annie to take him so that we could actually get some exposition. Now, Reiner has Eren. Oh, wait, no, he's... He transformed. I'm not gonna get my wish. They have Ymir. 
I don't know what that means. They haven't crushed her yet, at least. It's just so crazy. I love how this whole thing throws the Survey Corps and us through this loop at the same time. Because we're set up to have a certain, you know, inside-outside view of the world. You know, humans, titans. Inside the walls, outside the walls. And then season one kind of shakes that up a little bit, but this season so far has completely turned the whole world upside down. I mean, the walls are something completely unrelated, it seems, to even keeping titans out. I, I don't know. The walls are titans, but people can activate titans in the walls anyway. And a bunch of our friends are titans, and there's other kinds of titans, like monkey titan, and titans can talk, and there's just all these things that just change everything. There's some kind of religion, I guess, or some kind of lineage thing happening. It's not this, you know, humans versus animals battle, it's probably this battle that's happened for a long time, maybe even repeatedly if there is some kind of loop thing, and it seems like it's gonna come down to a conflict between things that are much bigger and much older than just, you know, humans within the walls and brainless plant-like titans. So that was a very exciting first half of season two. I hope the season continues the intensity because this is a lot of fun. Before the video ends, I gotta give a very special shout out to all patrons for all the support for making these videos possible. A special shout out this week goes to those who joined the top tier on Patreon, Adui and Scott Morales. Thank you to you and thank you to all my patrons. For those of you watching on YouTube, videos are one week ahead or more on Patreon. In fact, a lot of people have been asking me about the Attack on Titan OVAs. Ilsa's notebook is up. No regrets will be up at some point. <laughs> in the near future. I might post those on YouTube eventually, but for now, those are gonna be Patreon only, just because I feel like it makes more sense to keep up with the normal season schedule rather than delay it. But yeah, check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you to everyone for watching. Love you guys as always, and I'll see you guys next time when everybody becomes a Titan. Everyone. <laughs>